Now to May's mass shooting in the city of Buffalo. Just as a suspect is indicted on hate crime charges, the market where that massacre took place is set to reopen this morning. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook has been spending time in the community. He joins us live from Buffalo with reaction to the reopening. Elijah. Well, Cindy and Mary, I can tell you preparations as we speak are underway for the reopening of this Topps grocery store there behind me. In fact, just a few minutes ago, we saw the fencing come down that was once surrounding the parking lot you see there behind me and the building itself. And it's really signifying a fresh new start for this community that's been facing difficulty over the past two months. On the other side of this memorial to the victims of the Buffalo shooting, a renovated grocery store is ready for the parking lot fence to come down and customers to come back. Inside, a memorial waterfall and windows with the names and photos of the 10 lives lost, all of them black. They were at the store exactly two months ago when police say a white gunman racially targeted the store. Although we have mixed emotions, one thing that we do know is that we are better together. On behalf of Topps Friendly Markets, local pastor Darius Pridgen offered a prayer and moment of silence to honor the victims and their families. The upstate New York community is still recovering and residents are split over whether they'll shop here again. Uh, I'm not scared or worried, but just out of respect of it being a uh, sacred ground, so to speak, I'm not quite sure. I might, might just let a couple of days, a couple of months go by and see if I will go back in. Nearly 400 people have signed a petition on change.org demanding the tops be torn down and a memorial park be built in its place. But there are also locals who support the reopening of the only grocery store in their neighborhood. Over the last two months, many have had to rely on buses to stores in other neighborhoods or food giveaways. There's a lot of people around here who are walkers. You know, it's not like we can get to another supermarket. Many we spoke to say they will be here for the reopening Friday, unsure of how they'll feel, but ready for the community transformation to begin. And back here live again, preparations as we speak are underway for the stores reopening. We're hearing that there will be enhanced security measures both inside and outside of the store, including amped up police presence. Certainly a new day for this community that's been traumatized by that horrific shooting in May. We're live this morning here in Buffalo, New York, Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News. Elijah, thank you.